Hi guys, so are you in the closet? And why am I asking this? Um, because you might be in the closet without knowing it. You might be like be like a person like me who don't like to label people with like, you know, uh, there's LGBTQ, for example, like uh, people who are very gay or who are very lesbian or very bisexual or um, everything, queer plus and things. But uh, you might not know if you're gay, if you're bisexual, but you know what you're thinking of, you know what your fantasies are, and maybe you ac just accept, oh, I have weird fantasies. And, but you might be in denial too, or, you know, or don't really just think so seriously about it and you just go on with, it, with your life. I, I did a video on my main channel, Scorpio NYT, um, coming out, uh, inspired by Ingrid Nielsen. And I knew since I was a toddler that I was uh, attracted to both men and women. And I would also be attracted to gay men <laughs> and even to, to lash a uh, lash. You know, I don't think in terms of gender, age, culture, race, and like that. Uh, if I, you know, if I get attracted to someone, I don't think, oh, he's not, he's not, or she's not. I don't think like that. I, I expose my feelings. If I like that person, I don't care if that person is a girl or, or, or a boy, then I would pursue that person. But I would never like uh, force that person. So if they don't want me, I don't continue. But usually I'm a person who, who wants to be courted. So over the years, I'm 45, I'm 45 years old. Uh, the only people who have really courted me like aggressively have been men. And of course, the last one is my boyfriend, Mike. So, um, but I have always been attracted to, to girls at the same time with boys. So, um, and even when I was married for the first time, uh, my ex-husband, my first ex-husband even asked me, are you lesbian? He said, and I knew I was not lesbian because I was, you know, I was attracted to both really but I didn't label myself like uh, I didn't either say I'm straight so and I said no I'm not lesbian but I knew what I was fantasizing so I was fantasizing about both like uh, and I don't mean that just because you are like out that you like both men and women. I don't mean that it's an excuse for you to have an orgy or, you know, to be with multiple people at the same time. I'm not into that, guys. Um, so I'm not like that. I'm a one man or one woman woman. So I would never be, you know, in... I Yeah, I prefer and have chosen monogamy relationships over the years. Okay, you can call it ser uh, a series of monogamy relationships because I, I have divorced twice, married twice, so. But you might be like in the same boat as me, like, you, like I was before, because uh, that's the bad thing about not labeling yourself is that you also don't really know <laughs> so you really have to think uh, i don't mean that just because you fantasize about uh the same gender or all genders that you uh that you also want to be in a relationship with those genders i don't mean that but it is uh an indication though to what you like and I mean, I could fall in love with a girl and I know that men are not threatened when girls uh, fantasize about other girls, but they should, at least if their girl is like me. I mean, since I don't look at 
genders like that uh, if I am if that person is pursuing me and I fall in love then I can take that person so a man should definitely be threatened by two girls uh, because that girl could choose the other girl instead of the man man but I'm not unfaithful guys so I'm just sharing you to you what I think about and I have been with a uh, a man before that um, yeah he never thought that uh, the girl he was living in was lesbian uh, he only noticed that she was um, spending a lot of time with her girlfriend and one day um, he discovered yeah they were in bed so that's how he discovered and uh, I remember him telling me that he felt so dirty when he saw that. Um, he, he did not express to me why he felt dirty, but it was of course a betrayal, but I think he was threatened that it was a girl and girl relationship and that his girl or uh, the person he was living in really like chose her. Uh, of course they they separated after that and I'm just guessing he was threatened by that and with a girl girl because when I tried to tell him my fantasy and my fantasy was with a girl and me and him and he didn't like that so you would also know about the, uh, how the other person looks at it by telling your thoughts to your boyfriend or girlfriend so uh, you know being honest with them and I when I uh, expressed that fantasy to him I never thought that yeah yeah maybe you're not straight so that is why I'm saying you could be in the closet and and still not know it so yeah, uh, like in analyze your thoughts, analyze your fantasies, and and if you dare, then date a person from the same gender or from you know the opposite gender. If you were not, you know, then experiment and but be safe when you do that um, because. Even though it's just your thoughts or your fantasies, it could still be, it could still impact your partner because uh, if you're in denial and especially if you're not sharing your fantasies, then you are not really being intimate with your partner. You, you are not really open. So I think that's why I made the videos so that you would know if you were in denial. I, I read an article, uh, I don't remember the name, was it Paul Boynton something from Huffington Post or Huffington Post and he, he mentioned about that it's so hard for people to open up since um, the society raise us to be you know different when we are like kids we are so open we tell our fantasies we tell our thoughts like very honestly and yet schools and our relatives and family try to mold us to be if you're a girl then you are raised to be cute or maybe when you get older then you think you should be sexy instead of being bold and daring because that's more manly uh, manly traits and if you're a guy then you are raised to be like you know um, ordinary manly guy so he thinks that the best you know that you should open up and not just because that's the right thing to do uh, to, to your partner, but it's the best thing, it's the best gift you can give to yourself. I, I mean, I have relatives who are gays and lesbians and uh, a lot of them have been in the closet for years and even until now, 
uh, they yeah they date other men and they date women but they don't talk about that or they hide it and I think it's a good thing if you can come out uh, and you know tell your story to others because I mean life is short so why hide it if you're thinking about it uh, to do I mean to the point that you're almost obsessing about it and you do that with things that are secret because it's like forbidden a forbidden fruit if you like that uh, you know if you like that feeling then maybe you should continue but uh, it's not good for you to have that inside you and yeah just experiment and as long as you're safe and you're not treating anyone and I, I mean, I know there are complications when people come out. Uh, I mean, I come from the Philippines. It's still not accepted, really. I mean, we can't uh, get married there with, you know, men, men, and women, women. So, I mean, it's a good thing to come out. And I have relatives who even went to the States. Just, I think, one of the reasons is not just for a job, but also to have a free life, to, to live openly as gays or lesbians. And I, I'm really hoping for a future where you can live wherever, uh, you know, live in your own country and not, you know, uh, be fearful and I think telling your story will help, will help you. So if you have any experience about this, if you are in the closet and tell us uh, if you want to come out or uh, yeah, tell us anything. So it's a good way of expressing yourself and yeah tell us in the comments below and yeah thank you so much for watching bye